Ladies and gents, average atomic mass time. Now, the average atomic mass is basically when we're looking at isotopes mm -hmm. of a diff of, of a same element. So some elements have two, three, or even more uh, different masses based on how many isotopes they have. And I think what we're going to look at here for our example is oxygen. Yep. Oxygen has how many known isotopes? Three isotopes. And so, so what we're saying is if we found a sample of oxygen, we got a sample of oxygen, it's not only one form. There's three different forms of oxygen in that sample, but they're around in different percents. So oxygen 16 um, has a mass of 15.9949. Okay, so it's not exactly 16, No, it's right? rounded. Okay, so it's got a mass of 15.9949. Nine. And oxygen 17 has a mass of 16.991. And oxygen 18 is 17.9991. Okay, so these are all like relatively close, you know, rounded up a little bit. So that's the, and the reason for that is because there is a little bit of mass and stuff from the electrons and mm -hmm. it, whole big mess. Don't really need to know that. So if we look on the periodic table, the average atomic mass for oxygen, uh, they say is what? 15.999. And remember, the only difference between oxygen 16, oxygen 17, and oxygen 18 is the number of neutrons. Yeah. And that, and that just means that there's, yeah, Plus uh, one eight, neutron. eight, nine, and ten neutrons. Right. Okay, so... So um, we look on the periodic table, and the mass is 15.999. That's the average. Right. Which isotope do you think we're going to find more frequently? Well, yeah, I mean, if the average is 15.999, then that doesn't mean that all of those isotopes are found in the exact same amount. I would think that this one right here would have, uh, would be the largest amount, because the average is closest to that number. Right. So actually, we find oxygen 16 99.76% of the time. Okay. 99.76%? Yep. So, so a sample of oxygen is mostly oxygen 16. Okay. Then you will find oxygen 17.04% of the time. Okay. And oxygen 18.2. Okay, so those... So if I just took a random sample of all the oxygen in the world, 99.76% of it would be oxygen 16. Right. Only 0.2% of it would be oxygen 18. Okay. So uh, what we have to be able to do is, is find the weighted average of these atomic masses. This is just like calculating grades. Like if you have a bunch of different grades in the grade book that you're trying to calculate in a class, 50% uh, of your grade comes from tests, 25% comes from quizzes, 10% comes from daily. That's mm -hmm. all weighted. So that's exactly what we're going to do right here. So what I want to show you guys is how we do it. We're going to take the mass from each one and we are going to multiply it by the percentage. Right. But we have to be careful because we have to convert the percent to decimal to get rid of that percent sign. So you always have to move the decimal point two spaces to the left. I'm going to show you. we're going to do that right now. So the first mass is 15.9949. I'm going to multiply that by this up here, but it's going to be with the decimal moved two spots to the left. So that's going to be times 0 0.9976. And we'll do all that in just a second. So let's do the same thing with this right here. 16.991 times two spots to the left. If there's a blank right there, it needs to be a zero. So that'll be 0 0.0004. And then the last one, 17.9991 times, take the decimal point, move it two spots, insert a zero where there's a blank, 0. 0020. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my answer to all of those and then add it up. So after I multiply the top ones together, 15.957. Okay. Oxygen 17 is 0 0.0068. Oxygen 18 is 0 0.036. Okay, so I got all that in the calculator. And what I'm going to do with those then is I'm going to add those three numbers up to see how close I got to my average mass. I add them all up and this actually equals 15.9998, which that's pretty darn close to what 
the actual average mass is. Yeah. And that's pretty much the way you do it. That looks like a lot of mess, but rewind it, rewatch it if you have some difficulties. Okay. Yep. Yeah, that's it.